today I'm going to do a vlog where I just sit and talk. I don't know what I'm going to talk about, so let's just see how it goes. To be honest, the reason I'm actually making this video is because I'm completely procrastinating from doing any sort of reading for university, and I love my course, and I love my required reading, um, but for some reason I just can't be bothered to do it right now. I've read Orinoco by Afro Ben and I absolutely hated it. Well, I didn't hate it. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff in there to analyse, but oh my god, that book. I just couldn't, I couldn't deal with it. Um, so I will make a video on that, but probably when I've actually studied it at university. This is how you can tell that I wasn't going to film a video today because my room is an absolute mess. Let's have a look at my bookshelves. You never really get to see my bookshelves. They're so pretty. People always ask me to do a bookshelf tour and I don't know if I will. I've actually just finished reading If I Stay by Gail Foreman on my Kindle. Apart from reading If I Stay and making videos, I've been watching Last Tango in Halifax to procrastinate on my university reading. I absolutely love Last Tango in Halifax. I just think it's really beautiful and just everything about the TV series is amazing. Uh, it's a new fave actually, I only kind of discovered it a couple of months ago and I had to buy the second series because they have the first series on Netflix but for some reason they haven't put the second series up yet and I needed to know what happened and oh, it's just so good, please watch it if you have time and if you have Netflix um, and I think they're filming series 3 at the moment or maybe they finished uh, filming series 3 and I needed another series to kind of fill in until Call the Midwife comes back and until Downton Abbey comes back. I'm super excited for Downton Abbey. This is where I sit and read. I'm going into my second year of university and I'm not exactly nervous. Um, I mean, I'm nervous. I'm always nervous about everything. But I'm really excited for this year, except this year actually matters. Even though I, I um, trek last year like it mattered as well like I did work hard last year um, and I'm studying American literature time space and place I think it's called um, 18th century literature which is kind of scary because I know absolutely nothing about 18th century writing I've read one piece of 18th century writing um, well I've read Orinoco now um, I think it's Fanny Hill memoirs or woman of pleasure which is just because I'm really interested in representation of kind of sex in any form of literature and I'm also studying literary theory which is going to be quite challenging um, at the moment I'm actually researching structuralism can't say it structuralism yeah people who are structuralists I can't still can't say it I study sociology so I know a bit about feminism and postmodernism and um, and cultural theory and uh, not just those like two but um, we studied quite a lot of that kind of thing but obviously at uh, A-level, so it's going to be quite different at degree. And that is a side I'm interested in. But it is going to be challenging. They kind of said, they sat us down um, and said, like, if, you know, it's going to be a really hard module. But I'm kind of excited for that. So, I mean, I want to be challenged. I don't know if you can see that little blue tit on the bird feeder. We get quite a few blue tits in my garden. My mum is obsessed with birds. Um, but I do enjoy watching them when I'm sitting on the swing seat. One's just flew back, there he is, and it's gone again. When I get to university, I will do a room tour and um, a what's in my bag video. And I will also talk about the books that I'm reading throughout my university year and do... Oh, I need to do a university reading list. I'm waiting for one theory book, but I don't know if it's actually going to arrive. So that's a bit of a... Um, disappointment and I'll do a wrap up of all my books for my first semester um, at the end of the semester I'm next semester I'm studying gothic and horror which oh, I'm not into gothic and horror that much um, and comedy culture and national identity which again is another one that I, I don't know anything about um, and romantic literature I'm about to start doing some required reading but at the moment I'm just looking at pictures so yeah, this is from my Norton Anthology of English Literature Restoration in 18th Century by the way and I also need to do some more work from my beginning theory book by Peter Barry. If you're starting an English Literature degree I definitely suggest buy this book. 
it's really easy to read and it's just really informative as well. I'm actually only drinking water right now but it makes me feel so sophisticated. So cheers. Do you say cheers martini? Probably not. I've just said it's sophisticated, just said it's classy but then I've said cheers and that's ruined the illusion of me being elegant. I do actually like martinis by the way. I haven't just bought a martini glass so I can drink water in it but you've got to admit water tastes better when it's in a martini glass. I can't actually be bothered to end the vlog now so yeah I'll just lie here until my battery runs out. <laughs>